Hey Howard, we get a lot of questions about how are woodcuts made. Well, I'm glad you asked that, Jared. It just so happens that our friend Bill Gaylord, when he was buying up everything he could find, happened when he bought all the woodcuts from Lewis Winter, he also bought a small selection of some of the tools that he used. And these are almost all handmade of different widths of chisel and some of them are quite, quite fine point. And this one here is kind of funny because this is a jeweler's screwdriver, but he has ground the tip of it down to a very fine point, maybe for scribing lines. And then there's this other one. It's kind of like a gouge. I don't know if you can see the, the cutting edge is actually a curve. So this might be used for removing a lot of material that you don't want to print. And I don't know why that's all wrapped up in tape, but maybe the, he felt a little discomfort using it. I, I have no idea. We can only speculate about this. Uh, different cuts for, for different things are all sharpened differently. And I'm sure that he could pull that out and replace it with another cutting edge when he wore these or ground these down as he was sharpening them on his hone. So when we mean woodcuts, we literally mean Somebody that they are... Somebody is cutting a block of wood. And it's all hand carved. And so these are Lewis Winter's tools from about 130 years ago. Some. Yeah. I, I would imagine he had these in all different sizes, shapes, and forms. All you have to do is just, just look at the work that he's done to realize it. And, typical of the day, a, a good thing to keep them in was a real live cigar box with a little bit of the tax stamp still <laughs> applied to it. <laughs> but that's, that's just a small idea of how a woodcut would be produced.